This is the last game or the last video in this series. And where we're going to be picking up here is they're wrapping everything up. Hideo Kojima made a pretty good metaphor in this game for the Patriot system, which was a form of control. They used it over the economy and the military in this game. But as they get to in this episode, they were also planning on using it on a civilian sector too for total and complete control and compliance of all of humanity. Global enslavement. That's a pretty good metaphor for what the World Economic Forum, the Bilderberg Group, and Club, the Club of Rome groups like that are trying to do today with the whole, I'm sure you've heard of it, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. And big corporations are trying to take away physical products from you, like you don't buy a DVD, you just rent it. You don't own the actual physical copy of it. You just want the experience, so you pay for the experience, but you never really own it. You're just going to rent everything. It's going to be a world of renters where you don't own anything. That way they have complete and total control over you. Kojima did a pretty good metaphor of that in this game. And this was released back in 2008. How could he have known? All well, these people aren't quiet about their intentions whatsoever. They've been pretty vocal about it for a long time. I mean, how you could hear, uh, I would say the Godfather of all the depopulation theory and all that Thomas Malthus he created his hypothesis on depopulation and when we were going to hit that point where our so-called limited resources and our growth intersect and from that point humanity is just going to be on a downward trajectory towards not extinction but a huge catastrophe well, he prophesied that that point would be sometime in the late 1890s never happened and it's not going to happen if it ever does happen anytime soon because human ingenuity. But all the Malthusian theory comes from him. And a lot of these systems of control are based off of that. All Kojima had to do to see what was in the process of what was in the works was maybe he knew some of the people that went to these meetings. I mean, he is an influential person. Maybe he just didn't really agree with it, and he thought, okay, well, what if I use metaphors and coded language and put all this into a game? It could be predictive programming, maybe this was someone in an intel agency wanted to slide this in there. But overall, I think that he just, he wanted to put the idea out there, try to get people to wrap their heads around these things. So that when you see it in the future, you can recognize it for what it is. At least that's my opinion anyway. Snake, wait here. Oh, this I'll video is going to be started off with the classic fist fight between Liquid and his brother. Who just has his entire body microwave, but he... He still has enough juice in him to plug it out. He was turned into a human hot pocket. I was right at the end of the last episode if you want to watch it. Rise and shine, snake. Look. The war is over. Why? You, you could have stopped us. I stopped you. Why would I want to do that? This is just as I'd hoped things would end. They don't want to explain later if you don't happen to watch the latter part of this video because it does get quite long that Liquid isn't really Liquid. He's actually Ocelot. He's been Ocelot the whole time. And him and the other people that were in the organization, um, Eva, I can't remember if the last one was the boss or someone else, but they've been hatching this plan over a long time to destroy the system of control. 
they had to do the whole Kang counter gang operation and a lot of people that didn't really know what was it. You could use the term useful idiots, but they ended up doing the right thing. They had to use useful idiots to uh, destroy the system. But he failed because of you. Nine years ago, I tried to free us from the control of our genes. Four years Because when I was watching this again yesterday, uh, I played through it. Voice didn't get recorded. Uh, had to redo it. I was a little confused because it seemed like that the goal that they were trying to attain was, uh, or at least on Solid Snake's side, was that they wanted to keep the system of control in place, this tyrannical, awful system. I thought, why would you do that? It looked like Liquid wanted to make everyone free. Turns out Liquid's not Liquid after all. He's always been Ocelot. Free from the system. Free from ID control. Our minds free from their prisons. That is the haven I've yearned for. Ujima did a miraculous job at wrapping up most of the loose ends, I would say, that this series has had throughout its decade of existence at the time. There's probably still some loose ends that Metal Gear Solid 2 opened up that never really got tied up, but one surprise me, that game was through the cannon and a uh, complete and utter disarray. This entire game has been wearing a coat with, like, a name tag on it the whole time. Why? What is with the name tag? Show me what you got, Snake. Does also what forget who's playing at some point? Like, oh yeah, I got, I got to be liquid for a little bit longer. I think it was revealed in Metal Gear Solid 3 that Ocelot turned out to be a double agent within the Gru and Eva was a double agent. Right, and it gets kind of hard to... Yeah, they went to another country to act like one of theirs and just report it. Yeah, okay, double agent. Because they got triple agents too and the whole thing just gets a little confusing. I think a Eva was a triple agent. Where she appeared to be working for the Soviets, but yet also appeared to be working for the Chinese, but she was really working for America. Man, they're just a bunch of druggies. Fingers ain't supposed to bend that way, dude. First couple times I played through this game, back when it first came out, I always had such a hard time with this fight sequence at the end. I blew through it the first time yesterday, no problem. I don't know why I had such a problem back then. I really gotta remember to turn notifications off. Stop! <laughs> 
They just love fighting so much. Give me all your god. Come to think of it, they could have patched it. So I played this when it first came out, and I, it took me like a ridiculous amount of time to get past these fight scenes. Either that or I just suck. Snake. Huh? Get up. Get up. He blocks all the punches, he'll usually take that kick right to the chin. Get up. Kept you waiting, huh? Knocked you back into time. <laughs> Think he lost a tooth? Ooh, you just got rocky. You just got knocked the fuck out. Bitch. Maybe I will lose the fight. I wasn't doing this poorly last night. But then again, I was actually able to land hits. Keeps blocking them now. God damn it. I should just do what I did last night and go hyper aggressive, just never stop attacking. Give me some health back. Pretty good. Oh, the health bar from Metal Gear Solid 3. It's not 
over yet. Help me, Mick. I can't see anything. Pretty good. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Quite a dramatic death. That must have been one of those crap your pants right before you die deaths. There's that old Huey. Old Vietnam era helicopter. No longer good for frontline combat. JD's brain, but left the brain That's what I'm thinking of. Reappropriated. And separated the Patriot's control system from the vital lifelines of society. Water, air, electricity, food, medicine, communication, transportation. She cut off the Patriot's control while preserving modern civilization. 
Maybe it was her way of avenging Olga, her mother. Or maybe she wanted to shape the future into her own ideal image. Or maybe it was just one big defragmentation. Fox alive. The AI is truly a living thing. I don't think AI is a living thing. I would have to disagree. And still, our civilization. I think once you start thinking of AI as a living thing, you come into all sorts of ethical dilemmas. Naomi, what did we lose? What did we save? Detroit become become human kind of touched upon it, but they did it in a very let's just say lazy and uncreative way but it was there the underlying message you start thinking of AI in let's say advanced robotics that can mimic human behavior you start thinking of them as living things. Okay, what, do they get human rights then? They're not human. What separates a human from a machine? What separates a human from an animal? I mean, you don't send a lion into jail for killing a cub. But you'd send a human to jail for it. Why is that? Why would you not want to treat machines the same as humans? Because they're not. Humans are special. Human have, humans have a conscience, a soul, something that makes them unique from other animals and things created by man, like machines. I think the whole transgenderism movement is designed to start to blur that line. Because Julian Huxley's transhumanism is going to be coming sometime shortly here. Where they start mixing men and machine. Elon Musk is already trying it with his Neuralink. She's wearing a wedding dress and she's got a gun belt on. She's just that hardcore. She's still got that 10 millimeter bullet earring. Colonel. She's got muscles, but she doesn't look disgusting. I used to do bodybuilding in my early teens, early 20s. Or early teens, yeah, late teens, early 20s. I met a lot of women that did the bodybuilding thing too. Without steroids. You start throwing in testosterone, god, they just look disgusting. Going to walk me down the aisle. You're not angry anymore. Oh, I'm still mad. But now... You've got a chance It looks like to... someone I used to know. I was thinking that last night too, but I just can't think of who. You're right. We have plenty of time now. Mailing is very emotional. She's still wearing her naval outfit. We only made one skin for her. If she's fit and more muscular than your average woman, but she still has a female form to her.
I've seen a lot of shit going around on social media by certain people who are like, would you date this woman that shows some really, really buff woman? I'm like, no. Like I said, I used to compete with in the same type of shows. You had the men separated in different classes and you had the women's and women do not get that big naturally. Really good about the size Meryl is right there. Unless they've got really good genetics like Schwarzenegger did. I don't know how he got as big as he did. People nowadays get a lot bigger than Arnold ever did, but there's a lot more drugs on the market now. Let us give thanks for the life they will soon share. And pray they have love everlasting. I think this black dude, whoever's doing the voice for him, if there's any Japanese made game, He's always the guy that does the black voice. He sounds so familiar. Go on. Do it. Oh. He must be the only black man in Japan. Just in time. And I brought gifts. A shower of flowers, compliments of Drebin. He said that in the, uh, what do you call it, the plurative? He didn't just say Drebin. He said it in the plural form.
Jack, how are you feeling? Do you mind if I sit down? Jack. Don't shut me out. I need you to listen to me. What do you want? Come to laugh at me? No. <laughs> Look. Look at the boy. The Goku's kid. He's yours. I don't have any kids. He's your son. You said miscarriage. I lied. I had a healthy baby boy. Roy pretended to be my husband, to protect me and our son. Only until you completed your mission, to shield us from Patriot eyes. What? He didn't even tell Meryl. He sacrificed everything, even his family. To protect us. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Jack. I wanted to tell you. So he's really... John? Aren't you going to say hello? I think you're cool. Kinda like a comic book superhero. I'd like to know how he got his arms back. If you watched the end of the previous episode, he didn't have any. I don't know how he lost the second arm, but... No longer afraid. Maybe he got crushed when he was stopping that giant ship.
like a scene from Beauty and the Beast. Don't say that. You're no beast. You're my husband. And his father. And me? I'm going to do my very best. To be the wife and mother this family deserves. <laughs> Back to the graveyard. Has changed. Our time has ended. Our war is over. There's one more thing I must do. punishment I must endure. Erase my genes. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. Memes before there were memes. This is my final mission. Is that the end of Snake? <laughs> Nothing beats a stiff drink, huh? I didn't know you drank. I thought it was strictly soda for you. 
Not like I never touched the stuff. Soda just agreed with the nanos better. <laughs> Nano machines break down alcohol before it has a chance to get you drunk. So, that explains it. No need to hold back anymore, huh? Yeah, well, it ain't all sunshine and rainbow. A lot of folks lost their entire sense of being the moment SOP went offline. You mean SOPS? I heard some people are going through withdrawals. SOP syndrome. Yep. SOP kept more than just alcohol under control. Those poor slobs are virtually naked now. What I hear, over 10% are showing symptoms. I guess getting rid of the Patriots won't solve all our problems overnight. You, uh, probably already suspected this, but I'm not actually an employee of AT Security. Huh? The Patriots raised me to be a gun lock. <laughs> Patriots? My earliest memories are of the LRA. They kidnapped me, forced me to fight. Yep. The LRA is a real thing. I looked that up yesterday when I was watching this. Guess that makes me what you call a war. Apparently, they were designated a terrorist group, then they weren't. And apparently, they're whether or not uh, the United States and Western countries dictate someone that's terrorist or not depends on who they're working for. How do you suppose I laundered guns like I did? Because <laughs> they let me. In fact, I was under strict orders to back you guys from the start. You what? <sighs> hey, man. Don't take it personal. I wasn't the only one. I mean, hell, a lot of the terrorist groups get started up by the CIA, MI6, Mossad. Huh. All these countries. Merrill and got agencies that the people have like no oversight of or control of, like the FBI, CIA. Rat Patrol Team Zero One. Obviously, Liquid's plot was a threat to the Patriots. So they planned to have you guys take care of me. Didn't turn out quite how they planned, though, did it? Yeah, well, I don't think they expected you to crash their system and wipe them out. So, does that mean you're out of a job now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I got the dread. All the Drebbins in the world are in on it. From now on, we're in business for ourselves. We are pawns no more. Easy there. The White House might have lost its taste for unilateralism, started to rebuild. But there's a lot of failed states out there that went bankrupt from their PMC habits, and they owe a shitload of money. Now, only question is, who's going to pick up the tab? I'm sure these new governments will try and keep it under control with PMC corporate reform laws, but it ain't going to be good enough. They all sunk up to their eyeballs in the war economy. Might not be a new world order, but the old order under the war economy is gone for good. I'm guessing the UN is going to be more important than ever, what with multilateralism and all. A certain president said it best back during the Cold War. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. Then again, 
UN itself is just an old 20th century relic. If you think about it, when you look at its history, it ain't that different from the Patriots. Ah, uh, that's right. The nano machines used to keep you sober. Crush. Mix. Burn. Repeat. Hey, Uncle Hal. Can I give him the Mark III? Huh? He's kind of a new friend. <laughs> he lives near here. We can't understand each other's language, but we're having fun. <laughs> He's my very first outside friend. <laughs> really? That's great. Sunny. It's okay if you want to live outside now. It's your life. There are other havens out there. The sun looks so pretty. Sunny. I like it outside. Uncle Hal? When is Snake coming back? Snake? Skin colored facial hair. Is sick. So he went on a trip to help him get better. We're not going with him? No. He needs to be alone. I wonder if I'll ever see him again. The guy who does Otacon had a hard life. There was a game he did earlier on. I don't know if it was one of his first voice acting jobs or not, but I couldn't remember what the game was where the voice acting was just very bad. Are you I think it was Silent Hill 2, the original. I think he did James Sunderland. Going a lot better. I'm not crying. <laughs> Still kind of amazing how much of a technological jump there was between the Xbox, well, I shouldn't say the Xbox, but the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3. The Xbox was the most powerful of the three systems that were out at the time. GameCube, PS2, Xbox. Three hundred and sixty was actually stronger than PS3 in terms of raw power, that I understand. But the PS3 had that cell processor, and when they could really unlock what that thing would do, it could make some pretty amazing-looking games. But understand that the PS3 had a pretty weak GPU. The CPU had to do a lot of the work and it just wasn't optimal. People couldn't figure out how to use it. But it was still a pretty significant jump from the PS2. Peace of God. Where was that in the game?
That's right. Good. No need for you to go just yet. It's been a long time. Stay. Let it go, my son. I'm not here to fight. Or should I call you brother? What? It's over. Time for you to put aside the gun and live. He was a perfect clone. Zero and the proxy AIs that came after him were convinced that Solidus was me. I was implanted with nanomachines, kept in a state of eternal sleep by JD and the proxy AI. They had me sealed away completely, not only my physical body, but my will, too. The technology was similar to what they used to restrain the B&B &B members you encountered. For me to wake again, the system had to be destroyed. One way or another. Okay, so it wasn't him. Maybe it was Naomi, Ocelot, and Eva that I was speaking of earlier. Destroying the AI and killing the man, JD and Zero. Right before you uploaded the virus into GW, the way to JD was opened, but only through the physical manifestation of GW. That's when we finally learned the location of this man, Zero. For me, and for them, for Naomi, nothing was more important yeah it was Naomi and it was for that that they put their grand scheme into motion Eva stole my body from them and reconstructed it by replacing the missing parts with pieces from liquid and solid us it sounds like a grotesque job and Ocelot in order 
to fool the system, use nanomachines and psychotherapy to transplant Liquid's personality onto his own. He used hypnotic suggestion to So what they're discussing here goes back all the way to the first game, Metal Gear Solid 1. Nanotechnology, information and genetic control. They've never managed to control people at will. Let alone turn one person totally into another. Under certain conditions, someone can be made to play a specific role. Act like someone else. Cats do love to play as snakes. It all started with him. Zero. I get the feeling that Zero here, being the only British member of the whole crew, he's a metaphor for the British Empire. In his form, there as he is currently, old, decrepit, obsolete, is probably how Hideo Kojima feels about the British Empire as a whole. Not called that anymore though, it's the British Commonwealth of Nations. It never went away after World War II. That's a lie. By the proxies. Accounts maintained by the Patriots. And it took control back over America. R and D and investment to production and marketing. It encompassed the people, the companies, even the laws that protect them. Politics and economics became nothing more than iterations of the same oppressively uniform system. You don't believe me? Hell, Henry Kissinger even said as much. That it was all a setup, a mere set of norms. The Patriots were those norms, a neural network reduced to its simplest form. That's what they really represented. Uniformity without individual will, without change. But then one day, those norms... I highly suspect that the 20th century would have gone very differently if Franklin Delano Roosevelt wasn't killed. Out of the big three allies, Stalin, Churchill, Roosevelt, Two of them got together fairly well. It wasn't Churchill and Roosevelt. It was Stalin and Roosevelt. And when Roosevelt died, apparently it's recorded that Stalin knew who killed him. Same people that are trying to kill him. This was after he had already purged the Russia of most of the Trotskyists. But John Bull's fingers are still everywhere. Propagating its will as it pleased, and this age chose to act through economics instead of nation states. Powered by the industrial and digital revolutions that came before it, this age gave birth to a twisted economic revolution, a battlefield revolution. It created a new world without substance. In this new world, there were no ideologies, no principles, no ideals, not even the thing she treasured most, loyalty. There was only the war economy. It, this didn't occur to me last night, but this whole thing that he's talking about here, if you could shut me up and just read the text, I couldn't figure out what he was making this a metaphor of, him meaning Hideo Kojima. But what he's talking about, that society he just described with no ideals, no loyalty, that sounds exactly 
like globalism. He doesn't even realize it. He's completely unaware of the fact that he led the world to the brink of ruin. There's a lot of countries that flirted with globalism, like Japan done it, but they didn't lose their culture. America, Britain, a lot of, some of the, Europe, well, I would say most of the European nations all went all into globalism. Our cultures are pretty much dead. Everything's okay, everything's permitted, just, just do whatever you want, very hedonistic, very Satanist. Do what thou wilt. Zero, the old man there, could also symbolize the empires of old. Ocelot. They've all passed on. Only Zero is left. You still have remnants of the French Empire. I don't know how much the Spanish Empire controls in their old territories. Probably some sway. The British are still extremely heavily involved. My country, America, runs an unofficial empire. World is born. Zero. Moment zero becomes one. It's the moment the world springs to life. But this kind of gets back to what I was saying earlier about wiping the systems of control off the planet. You'd have to get rid of the old empires first. And allow a world of nation states to develop where each nation dictates what's best for their own. So long as zero remains, one will eventually grow to one hundred again. So was to erase zero. Even the mighty patriots began a single man. That one man's desires grew huge, bloated, absorbed technology, began to manipulate the economy. We realized too late that we had created a beast. Could be another metaphor for empire. Help turn zero into one hundred. His sin was ours. And for that reason, I'm taking it upon myself to send zero back to nothing. I mean, if someone hasn't been listening to my videos for a while in the actual dialogue of what I say, you might be wondering, what are you talking about empires? The Age of Empires was largely dead. No. What would be better? Running a system of empires and having everyone know that you're running a system of empires and everyone would therefore know where to point their fingers. Or running a system of empires system of empires that everyone thought died close to a hundred years ago. Just make it look like it went away, but you're actually still running it from behind the scenes. That's what happened. It all happened after World War II. You erased me two times before. And when it comes to America, there's two different versions. You've got the American Patriots which I consider myself to be one nationalist, people that want America to go its own way in the world. And then you got the loyalists, people that are still loyal to the old powers of Europe. I would say most of the 20th century was started off in my camp, but then after World War II just drastically went the other way. 
I mean, America is not a monolith there. It's there's two tails pretty much every country too. Everything. Not every country on earth is a monolith. In fact, I would say none of them are. What's wrong? They did it again. Oh, they used you to kill me. Oh, oh, the Patriots. No. The virus and Snake's body. In order to bury us. They did it again. In the end, they're no more than a program. Oh, all they can do is repeat the same pattern over and over again. Oh, oh. Do me a favor, will you? Take me over to her. There's one more thing. Naomi wanted me to tell you. About the... Oh, old fox die in your body. The one that mutated. You, fox die, uh, inside you, continues to multiply. At the same time, it is preventing the old mutated fox die from reproducing. New fox die. Is uprooting the old. Naomi confirmed it in her follow up. Mutants are receding. For long, will be gone entirely. Does that mean the mutant strain won't cause an epidemic? Oh. We'll only live. As long as you do. <laughs> Even then, the process just repeats itself. One day, the new fox die too will start to mutate and become a new threat. Uh, uh, that is, if you manage to live that long. Am I going to die? Everyone dies. You can't stop it. You can't run away from it. Let me tell you something. Don't. Don't waste the life you have left fighting. I never thought of you. As a son. But I've always respected you as a soldier. And as a man. If you'd been in my place back then. That custom AR-15 right there. No stock, short and barrel drum magazine. Funky looking thing. Ever since the day I killed the boss with my own hands, I was already. Actually, I don't think those are called drum magazines. Eh? I think they have a specific term. It's 
It's not about changing the world. It's about doing our best to leave the world the way it is. It's about... Now it's called a drum mag. Yeah, I'm looking at one right now. God, they're expensive. I really can't see what the purpose of one of them would be. At last, I understand meaning behind what you did. At last, I understand the truth behind your courage. yours to live in not as a snake but a world without empires as a man. Uh. Zero and I, liquid and solidus, we all fought a long, bloody war for our liberty. We fought to free ourselves from nations and systems, norms and ages. No matter how hard we tried, the only liberty we found was on the inside. Trapped in those limits. The boss and I may have chosen different paths. Now, right there, you'd think Hideo Kojima is making an endorsement of globalism. Liberty. You, you have been given freedom. Freedom to be outside. You are nobody's tool now. No one's toy. You are no longer a prisoner of fate. You are no longer a seed of war. It's time for you to see the outside world with your own eyes. Your body and your soul 
are your own. Forget about us. Live for yourself. The old reflexes aren't what they used to be. Snake, wait up. I forgot these. No thanks. I'm quitting. Snake. These things will kill you. Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. No. There's one thing I still have to do. I have to see this age off. See what the future brings. Sounds good to me. I'll go with you. Huh. Otacron. I'm gonna be dead soon. You don't have to come. You said it yourself, Snake. There's nothing inside you can pass on to the next generation. No genes. No memes. You're man-made. You're a beast. I know. Blue Rose. There won't be any happy Beauty and the Beast ending for me. The little time I have left will be spent living as a beast. A shadow of the inside. Of the old age. Exactly. That's why you need me. As a witness. A witness? Yeah. Someone on the outside to bear witness to your final days. Someone to pass on your story. Not that I'm the only witness. But I'll remember everything you were and stick with you to the end. Otacon. Besides, you wouldn't let me suffer Sonny's eggs alone, would you? What rating did I get? Come quick! 
Let's go show the eggs first. They look yummy. Actually, I think I might go cook some eggs. It's rising again. I'm the hawk. Current driven points, 989,000. Pretty much wiped them out during the previous video with the, uh, the farming phase, so... Yeah, I say I, I accumulate... I accumulated quite a bit of driven points with, uh, wiping out all my ammo, except for the railgun. I forgot about that. See, what is the hawk? Received a lot of praise from the rebels. Oh, from fellow soldiers fighting PMCs. Okay, I thought it read differently. Yeah, I try not to kill the rebels. I sympathize with them a little bit. All right, well that's Metal Gear Solid Four. I think it's one of the best games ever created. And playing through it again after so many years was definitely a treat. Especially since Metal Gear Solid 3 is getting a remake. And I I would put Metal Gear Solid 3 at the top of the list as the best game because it had some of the most innovative features and just really cool shit in it overall. But the controls are so antiquated. Even with the newer versions, the controls are just flat out bad. So hopefully this remake does it some justice.